My mom is brilliant. She's the one who inspired us to go plant-based with her example. After two angioplasties and stents, she went whole food plant-based. She reversed her atherosclerosis, you know, blocked arteries. She dropped 70 or 80 pounds. She got off of all of her high cholesterol medication in her mid-70s. My hero, this oil-free, fat-free, soy-free, nut-free, egg-free mayo is her recipe. The secret is green bananas. This mayo can be used to make any of the salad dressings that I've been showing you so far, and you will not miss any of the oil or fat. It's a wonderful vegan mayonnaise. Welcome back to Comfort Food Farms, the plant-based home cooking channel. If this is your first time, I'm Kari Greger. How you doing? I'm glad you've joined us. Let's get into it. You'll find a short video on how to make the green banana mash in the link in the card above or in the description below. Steam them for five minutes and scoop out the pulp. That's basically it. The greener, the better. Ba 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 na na. Ba 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 na 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 na. Ba 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 ba. Take one cup of plant milk. Pour that into your blender. Add one third cup or 100 grams of the green banana mash. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. One tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of mustard powder, and half a teaspoon of Kalamanak black salt, two teaspoons of nutritional yeast, and a quarter teaspoon of paprika. Take that to the blender and puree it. Take half a cup of water plus two tablespoons and pour it into a microwavable dish. Next, we need half a teaspoon of agar, and one quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. Whisk that together with the water. Then add two tablespoons of tapioca starch or cornstarch. Whisk those together. I made a few changes to Mum's original recipe because I found her mayonnaise tasted very much on the acidic side, more than, than on the sweet side. It was very, very creamy though. So it's really up to personal preference. Some people like to have their mayonnaise taste more like a Miracle Whip, uh, and some people like it like a Hellman's mayonnaise or something like that. So it's really up to you whether you want to do either of those. I will put um, Mum's original recipe and my adjustments in the printable recipe link which will be in the description below. We are not going to be canning this recipe so it is really up to you as to how much salt and sugar you want to put in there. We're not going to be canning it at least until I've done a little bit more experimentation and testing. So it's up to you as to how much salt you don't have to put any in or sugar you don't have to put any of that in that you want to do. Remember, when you make it yourself, you have total control over the fat, salt, and sugar. If you're getting value from this video, give me a thumbs up below, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when another recipe is posted. Microwave this mixture 20 to 30 seconds at a time, and then take it out and stir it up, and then do that again and do it for several times until it gets as thick as this. Scoop that into the blender and run the blender until it's hot and smooth. Look at that. Look at how creamy it is. It has been very well emulsified. Pour this into jars and put it in the fridge to chill. This makes about two and a half to two and three quarter cup of mayonnaise. Lovely, lovely mayonnaise. Which is a sandwich. And what does one put on a BLT? Mayonnaise invented by the French. This is my pH testing kit. 
It has a probe wand that, um, that is used to test the actual product and several different solutions to do further tests on. I mostly use the wand and I'm going to show you how that is because this is part of the testing to see if this mayonnaise is cannibal. It's part of it. It's not the whole thing. So we take a small bit of the mayonnaise and turn the wand on, dip it into the mayonnaise, and you can see the numbers changing at the top. What we are looking for is a number that stays for a little bit and you can kind of see a little happy face. That's the indicator. I'm going to show you a closer up picture. There we go. Now you see 94, 95. There's a little happy face underneath the three. It's kind of hard to see if you don't know what to look for. So this is kind of floating around 3.94, 3.95. So that means this is a good range for canning. It's certainly worth further exploration. Stay tuned. I'll do another episode where we experiment with the actual canning of this mayonnaise. Keep trying, it's for science. Is that all I was to her, just an experiment? <laughs> Doesn't that look fantastic? I just started spreading it on my sandwich. Look at that. Look at that. And, mmm, such a nice tangy zip to it. And this stuff is not too sweet. If you like the non-sweet mayonnaise, if you don't like Miracle Whip, this is a good recipe for you. Four. Four. <laughs> Mayo. Mayo. <laughs> what? Hold the mayo. If you found the information in this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up below. Click on the subscribe button and the bell. Hit that bell so you'll know when the next video is posted, which will be Chipotle Mayo. We're going to take some of this mayonnaise and we're going to make sweet, spicy chipotle mayonnaise. And leave a comment too, please. I don't receive any money for this right now. I, I might at some time in the future, but right now I'm just doing this to help you and to make the transition from omnivorous re eating to the plant-based eating and make it easier for you than it was for us because I didn't know all of this stuff when we started. And let me know what kind of recipes that you are looking for so that I can answer some of your questions and make this transition easier. And leave a comment, tell my mom how amazing she is. She reads all the comments. Thank you for watching.